o'clock, 5.01, and I would like to call the April 11, 2024 meeting of the Capital Planning Committee to order. And uh, tonight, I think we're going to have a quick meeting. We're just talking about one article, Article 16. It's an acquisition of some property located at 234 Middle Street. And uh, I guess, uh, Linda, I'll kind of turn it over to you if you want to add a little more color to this. Um, I will talk about the financing part of it. As far as the overall project, I think um, Carolyn uh, is the one to do that. But if, uh, be, but I will, um, if you see from, I don't know if you all got your emails, mm -hmm. but I did send you the text of the article. And this is to see if the town will vote to authorize the select board to purchase, take, or otherwise acquire the property located, located at 234 Middle Street for the sum of $325,000 and to pay for said acquisition, appropriate the sum of, um, this is the breakdown of the $325,000, $48,750 from water reserves, the same amount, $48,750 from sewer reserves, and the balance of $227,500 from the stabilization fund to purchase said property to be held um, by the select board's care, custody, and control for general municipal purpose, uh, purposes and to execute all documents. So that's basically it. We have suggested these as the funding sources. It hasn't gone to finance committee yet, and but it will in about an hour um, for them to uh, confirm um, or uh, otherwise discuss the funding sources for the purchase. I know there was interest in being able to um, uh, to be able to have the final decision at the town meeting. That would be the only way to be able to proceed and acquire the property this um, quickly, um, or at least quickly after town meeting. If it went by a debt exclusion override, it would have to go to ballot, and we'd have to wait for a second answer on that. Um, and uh, we could borrow within the levy for this. Um, so that's something for finance committee to, to discuss whether they want to do borrowing rather than direct payment out of stabilization fund. I think you can express your opinions on that if you have them uh, to carry to, to the finance committee. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, just a reminder that we do have some other borrowing articles coming up on it, which is why we chose stabilization for this purpose. But anyways, that's on the financing part of it. Um, do you want more explanation on the project? I would. Uh, however, just a couple of quick questions. So it looks like, you know, the obvious is this isn't going to affect taxation at all if as proposed. Not directly. No. I always yeah. think everything affects it eventually. But, yes, it's coming out of stabilization and reserves. These are funds that we have on hand. There's always an interest in getting the stabilization fund back to the $2 million. And so, okay. go ahead. And I was just going to ask the question, what are the balances in all three of these funds currently? So the other sheet that I sent you, the one that is attached um, to your email, but I'll tell you about it. That is the, it is a list of all of the articles and all of our funding sources and what comes from each. Uh, so this one, article 16, the property for 325,000 for water reserves, we're starting out with 1,079,888 in water reserves. There is a, there's an amount to be spent on a couple of other water water articles, including the water budget. And when you um, when we also take out the 48,750, that's a total of just over 353,000 coming out of the water reserves, which would leave us after town meeting with $725,957 in water reserves. When I go to sewer reserves, it's it's a it's a tighter story. Um, that there is a, a little over. Uh, we're starting with only eighty nine thousand five hundred forty eight in water reserves. Um, a little bit over thirty thousand has to go to the budget. Um, when we uh, also take out the forty eight thousand seven hundred fifty, that would be eighty thousand one hundred and eight spent at town meeting, leaving a balance of nine thousand nine thousand four hundred thirty eight dollars. Um, and I want to remind you that the sewer rates and the water rates are both going up 
Um, there are other, um, there are reasons that sewer um, rates may have to go up further. There's issue with the, the cost of sludge and other things going up quite a bit. So there is more to deal with than the sewer, but it's, um, it is an appropriate use of the sewer reserves, but it does, it does make it tight. And as far as stabilization account, uh, we are um, almost at 2 million now. It fluctuates. I actually think, yeah, my balance that is here, 1,995,424. That was the beginning of um, annual of, that's what we're going in with, but I can get, an, I'll get an adjusted balance. I think it, the um, interest of investment income from the last few months has brought it over 2 million. Um, but using the figure that I had and the amount being spent at town meeting, there's two parts. One would be this 227,500. And then we've also suggested to finance committee, again, who will be voting tonight, that 55,000 from stabilization be used for the purpose of um, funding the amount of OPEB being requested uh, rather than using free cash. And again, both our investments going from one pocket to another, we would none, nonetheless um, have a goal of replacing those funds, but it would leave at the end of town meeting, 1,712,924. And as I said, I, I believe that we have uh, investment income to add to that. This is a little bit outdated. Okay, yeah, that, that's helpful, Linda. Yeah, and I just saw this now because I just didn't get a chance. I got home and no. I didn't get a chance oh, no, to look I, at it. So I'm I, sorry. I'm coming out this afternoon. Don't worry about well, it. We're, we're scrambling. And, all right, and my other financial question is, is how are these apportionments arrived at? Uh, they are apportioned at this time. Uh, there was we, we had discussed 20, 20, 60. Uh, and then looking at the sewer and uh, thinking, uh, that's too tight. In fact, we don't have enough. Oh, we back that off to 15 and 15 percent. Um, and uh, Carolyn discussed it with uh, uh, some down DPW. So 15 percent each of those two, I mean, leaving the balance of 70 percent to come out of the general general funds, which is where the stabilization fund comes from. OK, great. Anyone else on the committee have any financial questions for Linda? This is not, by the way, going to dictate the breakdown of 15, the, the apportionment when it comes to the DBW facility. This is a, just, just, just for the purpose of acquisition, mind. land acquisition. Okay, so Carolyn, if you want to take over now, just give us a little more background too on, uh, on the project. The, our, we're specifically talking about the acquisition of land of the yes. Yeah, yeah, that is um, that has been voted in open session. It's three hundred and twenty-five thousand, and um, as you said, Linda and I discussed how to break that up. Um, so it's moving along. We have we have a purchase and sales agreement. It's all based on town meeting approval. Um, the the benefit of having this property will. Um, I am not going to say it's going to have this huge significant savings on the cost of the new building and garage. However, it will make a much better, more valuable, uh, um, even even in as we I've reached out to the uh, the firm who did the feasibility study to have a flat building instead of having to go vertical. And that's um, we were on a very tight footprint. This expands the footprint. And this building, um, one, for me, one of the most important parts of this of this garage is the the wash the the, the wash bay area and the mechanics mm -hmm. area, which serves all of the vehicles, including water and sewer, um, and will help us maintain these vehicles. So there's just so many so much value to this property, um, and we we felt that that was a fair enough way to break down um, the costs associated with those three entities. And so most will most or a part of the actual building be sited on this land that we're going to acquire, or is it more for like parking or? Oh, no, other... it's going to it's going to help with the whole layout. You know, we have to figure out the layout of where the gas tanks are going to go. Um, there's a lot that we have to look at. So the, for now, one of the advantages right now is, is if we have that building, there's going to be a transition where we've got to move all of the staff. Um, there's a there is a uh, a garage on site that would help with relocating some of the 
uh, some of the materials that we're going to have to relocate during construction. So there's, there's a real advantage to having that building in place right now. Okay. Uh, anyone else on the committee have any questions for Carolyn about this? Okay, hearing none, it sounds like a pretty straightforward deal from what I understand, and a willing seller. And uh, yeah. all right, uh, I would entertain a motion on this at this point. I make a motion to approve Article 16, the acquisition of property. Linda, can you check on that number? We did some, we did some numbers. Can you confirm that it's Article 16? It's the it's yeah. Yes, I can. I I just didn't. I don't have it open here. <laughs> what it says here, I don't yes. know if you can see it. <laughs> I just want to confirm. It, it was there, and it comes out of the uh, the warrant that uh, Jennifer was working on this afternoon. But I I, I think that uh, the way Chris. Uh, Christine said acquisition of property that it will be about the property, even if the numbers had to change. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure I that think be okay, but that's where it stands right now. Thank you. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. No, no, good question. Should we include the amount in the motion too? Sure. Um, so 325,000. <laughs> right. I'll just, I'll just start over. Uh, I make a motion to approve uh, the $325,000 needed for the acquisition of property on okay. middle school. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a roll call vote. Uh, Bill Bannock? Yes. Christine Pipchinski? Yes. David Phil? Yes. Paul McCretzky? Yes, the motion passes. Any other business before the committee? Actually, one real quick one I have too, uh, about the five-year plan, uh, any progress on that? I know when we got David and I think you and Amy were working on something. So I you're know. talking about the capital plan? Yes, the long-term. Yeah, so I, in fact, Linda and I were talking about it this morning. Um, actually, it was this afternoon. <laughs> so to talk about as soon as town meeting's over, we're gonna get back on that long-term plan. Okay. That's it's our good. summer vacation project. Yeah. Good. That's encouraging to hear. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Well, uh, hearing if there's no, no other business, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. A motion's been made and a second has been made. I will ask again for a roll call vote. Bill Bannock? Yes. Christine Pipchinski? Yes. David Phil? And Paul McCretzky, yes. So the